Good afternoon. I am looking a little bit bedraggled because I got back a couple of hours ago and then the electrician came over. I'm a bit confused because I'm not sure when this YouTube video is going out because I don't know when this room is going to be finished that I'm talking about. But basically because we're having so much stuff going on in the house, like we're having to move rooms around obviously because of the baby and we're having the room done downstairs like split in half and the office is going downstairs the whole house is basically in mayhem <laughs> we were sorting some stuff out and then i thought gosh i desperately need to sort my wardrobe out so i'm gonna say that probably right now most of my clothes don't fit me and i've only got a few like purpose-bought maternity clothes and actually regardless of the fact that i'm pregnant a lot of the clothes i just don't even wear anymore and so i just need to get rid of some basically i need to pretend that i was one of my clients and just do the job properly so yes this room is not currently organized at all and i am going to show you last night i went through and tried all of my jeans and trousers on and i've put them into piles this stuff actually still just about fits and the other stuff doesn't so i'm just going to flip you around and show you now so this lot on my chair is actually mostly jeans and trousers. These still, and a skirt, they fit right now. But all of this lot, mostly trousers and jeans, don't fit. Neither do these skirts, which I'm very upset about. Unless I put on a serious amount of weight, which I am not intending to do, <gasps> I'm hoping that most of these are gonna fit me. And obviously I wouldn't get rid of them now because that would just be silly. And I wouldn't advise anyone else that's pregnant to get rid of all of their pre-pregnancy clothes because you will have nothing to wear afterwards. So yeah, I'm gonna backpack all of these. I am gonna double check them. I'm gonna go through them again and just make sure that there's nothing actually I don't want. Those two jeans, I think a bit too knackered to go to charity. So I'm probably gonna put them in textiles waste or take them to charity when I next go and just see if they want them for ragging. Actually, that's another thing. If you didn't know, you can also also take things that aren't so great to the charity because they can get money for sending them to the ragman. This pile here, this absolutely enormous pile of clothes and actually shoes are to sell. So I do list everything on there, but it can be quite time consuming. Yeah, it's a bit of a random one. I have put um I have put a blog post about it online so you can read up. But you just have to have a bit of patience with selling clothes because they don't always sell straight away and Honestly, I've had some stuff up that's been on there for probably a year and randomly it will go through a space of time where I'll sell like four or five items in one week and then I won't sell anything for a month. So yeah, you just have to be, have a bit of patience. eBay actually recently has been doing better than Depop. So I think I'm going to put all of this because there's actually some quite nice stuff. There's like Karen Millen things in there as well from back in my fashion blogging days. <laughs> But basically, yeah, this is the current situation. It's just a complete mess. I have got a hell of a lot to do in the next two days. And then we fly on Thursday. <laughs> but as you can see, there is still quite a lot to go. And also this is the current setup. So <laughs> this room is kind of dressing room for both Tom and I. Tom has also clothes in here. It's not just my room, my office. And it's also where Tom's eldest daughter, my stepdaughter sleeps when she comes over, which is quite rare because it's normally the two smaller ones because the older one is a teenager and she's it's far too cool for us. But basically this room is going. I've got to reduce my clothes by about 50%. This makes it look like I have a lot of shoes, but I really don't. It's just very, very spread out. And I absolutely do not advise anyone to have a shoe storage cupboard like this. It was a very, very bad move a long, long time ago. <laughs> having the separated things just waste so much space and you actually can't get that many shoes on. And even if you did the shoes the other way around, how I show you guys to do them, like that, you still wouldn't fit three pairs in. So yeah, I don't advise that. I actually had a huge shoe cull probably about a year ago. I probably had about five times the amount <laughs> of that and I literally got rid of them all because I don't wear them. So yeah, I've got to try and get this into Tom's wardrobe, which is literally one wardrobe. I'm gonna have to be really brave and get rid of a lot of stuff. <laughs>
stuff is the Dakabe. That's good. Also, sorry, ignore the... <laughs> ignore the socks. These are my dog walking socks. I've literally been in this outfit since 5am this morning because I got up really early because I went to bed at literally about seven last night because i was so exhausted after this jubilee party thing but yeah so then i got up at five and actually i was quite pleased because i've been feeling really exhausted and burnt out partly i think due to pregnancy but also just because i had such a busy period well i've been really really booked up with clients recently but then before that i had that really busy period of a launch for my course and yeah just <laughs> it was like a lot a lot it was like 20 hour days like it was just stupid i was just working so much like in the background and yeah i just still feel a bit burnt out anyway i'm i'm so adhd honestly i can't even remember what i just <laughs> but yeah i've been feeling a bit rubbish and i've been kind of getting up and sort of doing stuff that needs doing because again we've had so much going on in the house but normally in normal life i get up and i straight away walk the dog and i feel a lot better and like just mentally a lot happier when i do that and yeah for the last like week or so i just haven't been getting up and doing that straight away also, when I said so ADHD, I'm not being, like, derogatory about it. Like, I, well, I'm pretty certain. I haven't actually been, like, fully diagnosed with it, but I'm pretty much 100% sure I've got it. I've done, like, all of the tests. I've done the NHS tests, but I haven't actually given it in, typically. So sometimes I talk and then I forget what I'm saying, which is really helpful. Okay, so yeah, what, what I was actually intending on showing you was this in here. Basically, this is all painting clothes because I'm not just like a crazy person. I don't just keep random clothes of paint all over for the sake of it. Uh, I actually, oh my god, I just found these as well. Yeah, I actually, as you can probably tell, do a lot of painting in the house, like painting of walls, <laughs> serial redecorator, which is why I have so many of these. But obviously, none of these are going to fit me right now because of this bump but i do need something because i've got a lot of painting that i need to do soon so i'm going to keep something that looks like it's going to fit me that will fit i'll keep that because that will fit and then these i think are just all going to go to textiles waste because realistically uh yeah realistically i just don't need them and actually they will probably still fit now but i'm gonna actually just get rid of all of this because i don't need it i 100 just don't need it so this this can all go can you actually see that I'm not very good at this YouTube thing yet. I can't like get the angles right. <laughs> I don't even know if this is interesting, but do you know what? I'm a bit of a funny one though. So to be fair, I don't really have much time where I could watch a vlog, but if I'm ever in the bath, like if I'm ever washing my hair and putting like a purple shampoo thing in, cause I have blonde hair and I have to get the brassiness out, then I will watch a vlog like while I'm in the bath. The only person I really watch is Josie Fashion Mumbler, Josie London on Instagram. But she just like talks <laughs> and I just, I find it really fascinating. She's been doing this for a long time and people actually find her interesting. So I have no idea if anyone will find me interesting. I don't know, but do you know what? We'll just see what happens because I'm just doing what I'm doing anyway. And I kind of may as well film it, but it does take a while to edit, especially when I talk so much. But yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this lot. And then that is one draw done. So what I was going to tell you was these, this is a bag. I mean, this looks absolutely, it look, this literally looks like I'm mad, but this is a bag of empty matte makeup pots. And I'm not just crazy keeping these. <laughs> Basically, they used to do, and I'm pretty sure they still do it, this scheme where when you send back your empties which is obviously more sustainable so that's great you get i think it was like a free lipstick or something per however many items so i used to collect these to then <laughs> send them back i just need to weigh up if i can actually be bothered to do that slash need lipstick i probably will so yeah if you use mac makeup and to be fair i actually don't really use it now I started using bobby brown foundation since my skin so i was <laughs> wearing mac studio fix foundation literally since i was about 15 i'm now 30 and it just wasn't doing anything for my skin so i because i'm so rubbish with makeup i booked myself for a free like consultation thing with bobby brown probably about a month ago now 
and they basically just do your makeup for free but obviously they're hoping they're gonna buy something and I did. I bought a couple of foundations and like a uh, cream stuff that you put on before makeup to stop it like caking and it's actually amazing. Seriously if you're looking for a new foundation it's really really good. I can't, I don't know what it's called but it's like most coverage, the full coverage one. But yeah anyway, so I don't actually use this makeup anymore but I do like their lipsticks so yeah I probably will do that but yeah that is a tip I can't remember how many it is but if I can find the link online I'll link it in this video so I will deal with, deal with those so that's an empty drawer what is in here like a bikini with a bump situation I do have one bikini which is like an over the bump one but I will probably keep this for if I ever actually get any time to sunbathe in our garden and if the weather's that good because let's be honest we're in England oh right here is that bikini I was just talking to you about it's very cute anyway that definitely fits this is horrendous I'm getting rid of this this can go to a car boot sale as is this I do not like that. This is a little cover up, that's actually really cute and we're going away next in two weeks so I will keep that. Uh, and this, oh my goodness, this is a super old bikini which <laughs> I actually used to wear once I'd fake tanned and that's actually, I was looking for that the other day so great, I need that too. And then this is like a travel bag thing so that's handy, okay cool, that's empty. That's handy, I've just found some sanitizer, hand sanitizer and a pound. I have a bag of like travel bags that I need to go through because I don't need to keep all of them. So when you're doing like a big decluttering job, there is an awful lot of moving stuff around from room to room. So don't panic if you're doing that, like it doesn't matter, it's not, you're not doing it wrong. So what tends to happen, especially if you are prone to getting distracted, when you are decluttering a room and you find something that belongs somewhere else, if you then take that item and go to the kitchen or wherever it is you're heading to, the likelihood is you'll then put it away in the kitchen or you'll think, oh God, I need to do something else in order to put this away in the kitchen. But either way, you'll end up getting distracted with something in the kitchen and then you'll forget what you're doing or you'll lose like half an hour. <laughs> so what I suggest you do is actually just put, like make different piles somewhere like by, well, just outside of the room for like different rooms and just say like this shoe, okay, bedroom or wherever it's going and just do that instead of actually leaving the room because if you leave the room, there is a chance that you will get distracted and we don't want that because I a lot of the complaints that I get from people is that, that they get distracted. So they find it really difficult to actually just focus on one area because they get so distracted and that eliminates that, that distraction piece basically. So that's a good tip. So don't leave the room. Okay, we've got hangers. Also, I genuinely think that trouser hangers, oh, I hate them. I actually hate them so much. They're so unnecessary, unnecessary I think. Like you can hang trousers on normal hangers. But also, and I've told you this a million times before, these hangers are fine and good if you have like a big, like open fronted wardrobe and you need, uh, also I'm talking about the proper hangers, not the trouser hangers, I still hate trouser hangers, but like wooden hangers I'm talking about. They're great if you've got like a really nice open fronted wardrobe and you need it to be super neat, but they take up so much room. So I used to have them in that wardrobe next door when it was open, but obviously we, absolutely would not be able to fit those in the wardrobe that we've got now so we use the velvet hangers and they're what I recommend to clients and all of my followers on social media because they take up I mean I measured it once and you can fit about four velvet hangers into one wooden hanger so they're very much space saving these are not and I don't recommend them right these need to be backpacked because they don't fit me at the moment but I'm keeping them for when I'm no longer have a bun in the oven. This I think I was gonna give away charity because I don't love it and it's a bit short. Oh, they I need to put those on eBay because they have a label in them. They are from a PR thing I did. That is rubbish. Right, so I will put these out in the eBay pile. I think I'll sell that as well. Yeah, this I've already actually done this. This is all backpack stuff. Do people even wear like super padded bras anymore? Okay, we're getting through it. Oh my God, what is this? Right, this is from a handbag that I do want, that I have got, but I do not want this set of tassels. 
from it because they were very ugly and I took them off straight away. I know I said this before but the only reason I'm saying these don't fit, I'm keeping them to backpack, <laughs> is literally just because I'm pregnant and I am intending entirely to get back into them afterwards. You have clothes who, I don't know, let's say you're like a size 12 now and you used to be a size 8. Realistically, are you going to be a size 8 again? Do you want to be a size 8 again? Because I know I don't, because for me that was very, very skinny. But I did actually have some size 8 jeans <laughs> and I very much got rid of those the other day when I found them because there's just no point because, you know, well, firstly, I don't, as I just said, I don't want to be a size 8 again, but also, regardless of whether I want to be, looking at a size 8 pair of jeans when you're a size 12, it's going to make you depressed, like, you know, because you're going to be like, oh, look, I used to be that size and now I'm not. So I always say to my clients, like, unless, because you know people do this thing it's like oh I don't want to waste things well I am all for sustainability and not for wasting things but you need to be realistic and if you are two or three or four or however many sizes bigger or smaller to be fair if you're trying to put on weight but more often than not is people are trying to lose weight unless you are on an active weight loss plan where you are working out every day you're you've got a proper plan and, and you're sticking to it and you're you know doing the healthy eating you're doing everything and you're, you can see that the weight is coming off and you could categorically say to me that in six weeks time I'll have lost X amount and I'll be able to fit this pair of jeans. Unless you are on that path, there is no point in keeping the things because you will just open your wardrobe and see all of these things that don't fit you and every single day you'll think it's motivation but it's not, it's just depressing and it's actually just knocking you down day by day and so actually just get rid of it. If you're really, really, really anti getting rid of it and you're absolutely certain that you're going to be the size that you want to be in, I don't know, say three months time, then by all means take them out of your wardrobe, put them somewhere sensible and set yourself a deadline, put in your diary that uh, you need to get those clothes out again and try them on in three months time. And if they don't fit then, get rid of them. Because honestly, it might sound harsh, but it's not. Like it's so bad for your mental health to just constantly be saying things that don't fit. You know, as I've just said, especially if you're not even actively doing anything to kind of change your situation. So yeah. That is a tip. I hope you don't hate me <laughs> after saying that. But it's true, it's, you know, that why are you keeping stuff that doesn't fit? Like, there is literally no point. You're just basically paying to store things that are making you unhappy every time you open your wardrobe. So, but yeah, anyway, in my case, and saying if you're pregnant and you're gonna be getting back into your clothes, then it would be silly to just throw everything away or get rid of everything because then you're literally gonna have to go and buy a brand new all over again and unless you're super rolling in it, which probably most of us aren't, then you don't want to do that. Oh, okay, that's the pyjama top that I was actually looking for that fits. They need to be vac packed. Okay, so if you've never used vacuum pack bags, they just come like this, you get a pack. It depends, you, I mean, you get like packs of two, six, whatever. I tend to get these ones from Amazon. They, I think they're about 12 or 13 pounds. And there's six or eight. Sorry, I can't remember because I bought two different packs and one had six and one had eight in them. But anyway, you can get them from a place like John Lewis as well. They're a bit more expensive. Although I have to say, I used some John Lewis ones at a client's the other day and they did seem quite a bit thicker and stronger than these. But as I said, I've used these before and they've not leaked any air so far and they are pretty good. So anyway, you basically take this off. You just unscrew this. And then you just to put the hoover on, put it onto a low setting because you don't want to go mad. Um, and then, yeah, I'll show you. Okay, and that's exactly why you put it on a low setting because I have just absolutely... Mine wasn't on a low setting, I thought it was. I might just leave that for a sec. I'll show you again. I've now put it on the low setting. Okay, so that was a bit better. So they go really, really heavy after the air has been sucked out. I'm sure that's not possible, but it just feels a lot heavier. Okay, so that one's done. Obviously, if you backpack things, they are gonna get a bit crinkled. A lot of my stuff I get because I don't have to iron it. <laughs> 
Like this is all gym wear, so this doesn't matter at all. And like this one is scarves. This one's quite, let's see this one, because this one's really fat. Let's do this. There we go, that's the sports stuff. And then also you might be wondering why I have just vacuum packed scarves because obviously they're not size dependent. Well, because we're doing all this moving of rooms and shall I just actually talk to you? Gosh, I look a bit of a state. I've been doing cleaning, tidying and declassering all day. But because obviously we're moving everything around, I thought it was just easier. And also realistically, we're in June right now and these are like, my super thick scarves, so I kept all the thin ones out that I will actually use. So I'm not gonna need these until the winter, so. I thought, you know what, while I'm on the backpacking rampage, I may as well just do these as well. And, oh, there's one more. And then I need to get Tom to put these in the loft because I'm not going in the loft. And some of them, as I said, are super heavy. Okay. Also, it actually keeps bras quite neat. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna keep these bras realistically. I don't even wear padded bras like this now, but they're quite good ones. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see the situation once this baby comes out. But yeah, anyway. So there we go. That is all the backpacking done. Thank goodness, so that's all going in the loft. And then out here. <laughs> Also, this is all up here because obviously the guy has just been doing the sanding downstairs um, of the drywall. So we had to bring everything upstairs, including the curtains from the office and the living room. This crazy stick thing is from, what's it called? Contorted Willow. It's really fun. I love this stuff. This stuff is all things that are either have just gone on eBay or are on eBay or are for the car boot sale. I just need to sort a couple of these bits out because some of them I need to upload tonight. And then these are all shoes and boots for the boot room downstairs, which Tom is in the process of building. So they will remain in a box <laughs> for a little while. And yeah, that is about it. So I need to take these this bag to textiles waste, I need to do something with this. And then all of that stuff in there is currently on eBay or Depop. So it's fine. <laughs> I've got a few months to shift that before I have to vacate that wardrobe. So yeah, anyway, that is that. I will give you an update later. Well, hello, welcome to a new day. So, oh my gosh, I am honestly like just, I feel so good. <laughs> it's so funny. Like I do this with clients literally every single day. That is what I do. I help people declutter and get organized. And the reactions I see from them on a daily basis about, you know, just how relieved they are and just how much better they feel that they can actually see where everything is and that they only have what they kind of need and love and not all of this other junk that they just don't need. But when I actually do something myself, I just remember, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> But I think if you can remember, because obviously this has been much more of a vlog style and I've been doing this big, massive wardrobe downsize over quite a few weeks because I've literally had to do it just in the rare spare time that I get that I'm not either with clients or doing my other work that I have to do like in the evenings and stuff. And we've been doing all of these other house renovations as well. So yeah, so it's been a little bit of a long slog, but I'm pleased to say that I am pretty much finally done. Did have an entire room before for my clothes and accessories, which was obviously quite a luxury. And I'm not even like sad to see it go. It's weird. Like, as I mentioned, I think, well, probably definitely have mentioned, a lot of the clothes I didn't even wear anymore. And it was purely a case of, I wanted to do it all at once and for me that's just how I do things best like if I'm gonna do a room or a wardrobe like I want to do the whole thing but obviously because that was an entire room and there was a lot of different elements to it and and also because it was my office as well so it was kind of two rooms in one but because the, there's the added <laughs> complication that well not complication but because I'm pregnant obviously the majority of the things don't even fit at the moment anyway and so I had to ascertain what I just didn't want and actually what I do want that just doesn't fit me right now because of my bump. <laughs> After all that, compared to what was in the dressing room before, I have reduced and put into my new wardrobe, honestly probably 20 or 30% because I haven't really bought 
much, in all fairness. I think I've bought two pairs of maternity jeans and they are currently the only pairs of jeans that fit me right now. A couple of pairs of maternity leggings and yeah, I haven't actually bought any other maternity clothes. I did buy a few dresses like in a couple of sort of, well they were like floaty dresses and I bought them in a couple of sizes bigger a while ago before we went to that wedding and they fit. But basically I am just living in dresses right now unless I'm working and then I'm wearing my maternity jeans. So in terms of what's actually in my wardrobe right now, it's, it is barely anything but it is the clothes that I am wearing right now, which is great because it means that when I go to my wardrobe, everything in there fits and I know where everything is and I can see everything. So it's amazing. Now, obviously this situation is gonna have to change a little bit when the baby's arrived and when I'm hopefully back to my pre pregnancy figure more or less because a lot of the clothes are going to have to come back out. The baby isn't due until the end of September so it's going to be kind of autumn time then anyway and I'll have to swap all my summer dresses and things back. So this wardrobe is still going to be like an ongoing transformation but I say to my clients you should check your wardrobe regularly anyway. It's a really good idea to do a little mini declutter or at least like an organise and kind of go through of, of your wardrobe every six months. Anyway I am going to show you now <laughs> what I've been up to and I'll explain a little bit as well because we did have to get an extra piece of furniture which is this dressing table in our bedroom and Tom has also moved moved some of his clothes out into one of the kids' rooms. As I think I've mentioned, my stepchildren, his kids are only here like every two weeks because they live quite far away. And so they don't really keep any kind of major clothes here. So there's like a spare chest of drawers in there. And because we don't actually have a chest of drawers in this room, I know, who doesn't have a chest of drawers in their bedroom? It is honestly ridiculous. And actually, that is another thing that I will say. I will show you the bedroom furniture in a minute, but when we bought this house, we knew at the time that we were gonna have one of the rooms as a kind of dressing room for us, sort of, for us both. So, <laughs> the furniture that we bought for in here was purely designed to just sort of look good. It, it was gonna be storage as well, but we didn't really need that much actual storage in here for clothes. In hindsight, this piece of furniture here, which is lovely, it's from Atkin and Time. All of our bedroom furniture, apart from the bed, is from there. It's like a quite a small, independent, unique brand. It depends what your idea of expensive is, but for us it was quite expensive. Um, the This, I think, was like 800-ish. So it's a lot more than your standard Ikea and in our previous house we pretty much just had Ikea furniture and bizarrely antique furniture. We both actually love like old stuff and we've always had old houses, it's just the newest house we've ever had. Anyway, going off on a total tangent again, oh my god, how do you put up with me? I just don't know. Let me know if you go off on tangents because I just do it all the time, oh my god. This is a sideboard and a sideboard really should be for like a TV room or, you know, like a, a social room. It's a sideboard. It's kind of, you know, to put things like games or DVDs or stuff like that rather than necessarily clothes. And actually I have made it work and it's fine for things like jeans and things that you can fold. It's much easier having a chest of drawers, let, let's be honest. Uh, I, I actually should have done this probably when I was on camera, but I have literally just printed all of the labels because I haven't yet labeled anything. So I will show you that now and then I will do the labeling as I talk to you. Okay, so this is our bedroom. So this is the sideboard that I was just talking about. If you can see some boxes underneath there, ignore those because they are a couple of bits that I still need to do something with. So there's actually a whole box of nail varnish under there which I need to go through and declutter. I just put them in, you probably would have seen actually. In one of the time lapses I just put them in a box that I already had because I didn't want to buy anything because I knew they weren't all staying. That is another tip. Do not <laughs> buy storage before you declutter. In fact, I've told you this a million times and if you don't follow me yet on Instagram, definitely go and follow me because I put stuff, I mean, obviously, as you know, this YouTube channel is very, very new and most of my content so far is on Instagram. So just ignore those. But that is the sideboard that I was just talking about. So, you know, very nice, but it's not overly practical. This dressing table here is also from Atkin and Time. So this is the one we had to buy because I had literally nowhere to do my makeup otherwise, especially now that I'm pregnant because I stand up pretty much all day in my job when I'm at a client. I do not want to have to stand up to do my makeup in the morning in the bathroom, so I needed somewhere to sit and um, we just wanted to get like the same kind of thing. It's lovely, again, but the drawers are really, really, really shallow and so I've not yet found anything. I mean, to be fair, I haven't had time to properly look yet. I need to 
in fact, I already have measured it and I've written it down in my notes, but I need to order something that's very, very shallow that can split the items of makeup up. Oh, there's feathers everywhere. I don't know where they've come from. So this is my makeup, which is also massively, massively decluttered. I had two deep drawers of the Marm tool unit thing that's in there that I'll show you in a minute, full of makeup that I literally didn't use, so I decluttered most of it. Some of it was new as well, so I gave that away. And then this is the kind of hair side. So yeah, it's very much decluttered and all of the stuff in here I use at least like on a weekly basis. So once I've got my organisers this will all be super neat and tidy but kind of everything is together. The only thing is I think it must be on a little tilt because can you see the drawer keeps opening and it's absolutely driving me around the bed. But yeah, so I have dramatically decluttered not just my clothes but everything, literally everything. <laughs> Let me show you the wardrobe. So it's a double wardrobe but we are kind of sharing it. So so that is the unit that I was just telling you about and literally I think I had like two or three of these deep drawers full of hair and makeup stuff which is just madness but yeah so you can see it's all looking very organized in there now this first shelf was already here I don't know if I showed you this in the previous video Tom put those two extra ones in they are literally just MDF he hasn't even like drilled them in you know, screwed them in properly, he, they're just kind of balancing because one, I want to paint them, but I absolutely do not have time to do that at the moment and it is f far from a priority. So that is just how they are at the minute. So he will do that like once we f eventually ever get around to painting them, but I just have too much on my to-do list at the moment. So they are all jumpers folded up. A lot of those are actually winter ones, but because we know what the British weather is like, if you're watching me from sunny England, it's uh, very temperamental. These are Tom's clothes here. I've got belts in these two, which is quite handy up there. And then I'll show you this lot in a sec, because I, as I said, I have my labels. So I will do that with you in a minute, but I'll just show you the other side. These are my dresses and a few shirts, jumper, well, cardigans and a couple of coats, like lighter summer coats. But this stuff pretty much all fits me. So yeah, and then at the top here, we've got a few kind of clutch bags that, to be honest, I, I actually possibly, the one at the back, I do use quite a lot. But this one, I mean, I don't even know. And this one, this fluffy one, it's actually hilarious. Look, look at this. It looks like some small fluffy animal, but anyway, it's quite it's actually quite cute But yeah, not sure I might have to think about those and then up here We just have shoes and that is the way that I was telling you So if you put one the opposite way you can fit a lot more in in that little box at the back There are a couple of very very thin scarves that just would fall off if I put them on here And then they are slightly thicker ones and yeah, so right at the top I've got things that I rarely use. There's a couple of boxes up there and in there are some hats and gloves which you need to go in the boot room downstairs when that's done. So yeah, that is a, it's a very good use of space. And then I just have, not there, but on the other side a couple of pairs of shoes and yeah, the rest are going to be in the boot room when that's done. Okay, so I don't know how well you're actually going to be able to see me while I do this, but these labels are so easy to do. You literally just print it on one of these. For me, because I use this literally every single day with my clients, it's, you know, not a silly thing to buy. But even if I didn't use it every day and I just needed to use it in my house, I would say it's a good buy because I can't exactly remember how much it was. I think it, it might have been like 46 or something. It's linked on my Amazon shop anyway, but it literally goes out of stock all of the time. <laughs> So yeah, you just have to kind of keep an eye on it. But again, on Instagram, I always kind of link it when it's back in stock. So yeah, but this was such a good investment. And do you know what? I have only changed the battery to this once. <laughs> once. And I've had this one for, it must be like over six months. Six months, the batteries last, it's mad. It takes six triple A batteries, but it's genius. And you can do like different sizing. You can get different color tape. Yeah, it's just so good, it's just so handy, but anyway. Uh, that is that, and then you just literally peel the labels off, the, the backs off, and then you have a sticker, and then you just stick like that, and then there is your label. It's so great. You just label what what the item is in the drawer, and the thing is, is some people think that labelling is silly or like a waste of time or whatever 
they want to to say about it but if you want to get the rest of your family on board and you know like kids if you want them to put their own things away or like your partner does the laundry and then doesn't know where something is then they have to ask you or they have to leave it out whereas if it's labeled it's just so easy they can just get on with it and it's just oh my gosh like i just don't understand why everyone wouldn't want to label. Yeah, okay, you might think, oh, it looks ugly, but at the end of the day, I have quite OC quite bad like OCD with things looking a, a particular way, and I don't find it offensive, so. <laughs> but each to their own, you might find it offensive, and that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna try and show you how to do this. So you just delete that off. So let me type, this is quite awkward, I'm trying to do this behind the tripod. <laughs> Base layer tops is what I want to say. And then you literally just press that button and it prints out the top there. So good. And then you click that button on the side and it just comes off. And it's like the perfect, perfect space either side. So yeah, it's so great. I honestly, I am just obsessed. Also, they are not folded neatly. Let me just tell you, they were just very quickly chucked in because I was testing to see if they would actually even fit in here. Because I mean, these drawers, seriously, so awkward. Fine if you're going to put bits like makeup or something like that in there but not really ideal for clothes i mean i suppose you could put you know like knickers and stuff in there but i like to have knickers in one of those draw divider boxes that i showed you because it's just so much easier to put in but i am currently having to deal with what space i've got but yeah you have to kind of look at this angle to even see it properly you know like if you were over here you're not going to see that so for anyone that thinks it look up looks ugly I mean, it doesn't. <laughs> when you come close to it, you can see it, and when you're far away from it, you can't, and that is what we want. So yeah, it just makes it so much easier, like, you can just see. There we go. Another thing is, as well, I mean, I don't have this, but I know some people do. If you have anyone that helps you with, like, laundry or, you know, like, you have a cleaner or anything, then labelling things is also really helpful. Not just for your family, but for, you know, if you have anyone that helps you around the house as well. It's just game changer. So I've just uh, done these ones here as well. This is my little pile of backings. So I told you I hardly had any clothes right now. <laughs> but there's jeans and trousers, leggings gym wear, painting clothes, <laughs> swimwear, and pajamas. I feel like I've spelt pajamas wrong. Yeah, it just looks funny. So that's what I was saying about this sideboard. It's 100% it's not an ideal like clothing option, but we have to work with what we've got, and that that is the situation right now. Yeah, and so there's still a lot of space in there. So, yeah, but that is it. Anyway, I am very pleased with my wardrobe downsize and I genuinely feel so much better because honestly, it is stressful having so much stuff when you don't need it. So, yes, that was my little big <laughs> wardrobe downsize. I hope you enjoyed that video. I, I don't know, as I've been doing this for so such a short amount of time, I don't know what you like and what you don't yet. So definitely let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought about like how much I've kind of decluttered and just what you thought, basically. I'd be really interested to know. I hope this gives you a bit of inspiration for decluttering some of your clothes because Oh, I know I said it earlier, but I, I just feel so much better. Like, I do feel as though a weight has been lifted and I didn't even realise that I was that stressed about it. But it really was actually stressing me out because the trouble is when you have so much stuff, you open your wardrobe every day and it's just confusion. You just think, oh God, there's so many things. It's like a sea of stuff and I just don't. <laughs> I don't know what to wear, I don't know, and then half of it doesn't fit you, and yeah, it just makes you feel rubbish. So honestly, you will feel so good. Go and do a wardrobe declutter now, and yeah, check out my Instagram if you've not already, and I will put a link in the description down below for anything that I've listed, like that I've talked about in this video, and I will also put a link for a declutter checklist that you can download as well, which is just free. Hopefully that will help you with your decluttering and organizing. And then there's also a link to my private Facebook group too. So you can join that. And again, that's free. And there was a 30 day challenge that I was hosting back in May, but you can still join in with that. Like you don't have to do it in the right order, but if you join the Facebook group, there is a free download for the 30 day challenge and you can just click that and it will download to your computer and then you can print it off and you can just go through all of the day's challenges to declutter and you will find that after the 30 days, you've got rid of so much stuff and you'll feel 
great don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more i've got lots of videos like shorter videos coming up too as well as other room transformations because we are doing a lot at the moment in the house so definitely subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye